Did you know that you can upload a list to Facebook and run ads only to that list of people? In today's video, I'm going to give you a tutorial walking you through the steps and walking you through best practices of putting together a list that you can upload to Facebook and absolutely crush it with Facebook ads. Here's how we do it. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are brand new here, the, our channel is 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. Uh, my name is Kevin Smolin and what we do is we work with real estate agents and we show them how to generate more leads for their business, specifically using Facebook and showing them how to get all their marketing done in less than an hour of time per week. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to upload a list to Facebook. But before I do that, uh, if you like this video, give us a like. That always helps us. We appreciate it. Uh, and also make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, you're going to be able to get uh, the best content, put out tons of new videos uh, all the time that will show you how to generate brand new leads, how to market your business, and how to see real results with Facebook marketing. So make sure you uh, subscribe. Also click the bell notification. That will notify you every time we put out a brand new video. And share, 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 share. We appreciate you, thank you. So with that, let's go through a tutorial. So here's what. Um, I was uh, teaching a class last week, and uh, as I was teaching a class, I was talking about this uh, ability where you can upload a list of Facebook and run ads only to the list. And uh, most people have no idea that they can do that, uh, let alone how to do it. So in this video, um, I'm gonna be focusing more on the how, the actual steps, and some of the best practices to make sure you're getting the most out of this. Um, that's gonna be the focal point of today's uh, training is showing you how to do that. Um, so just a couple things, uh, first of all, um, from a strategic point of view, some of the lists that you can do, um, I highly, highly, highly recommend putting together a list of your past clients, your sphere of influence. At a bare minimum, have those lists, upload them to Facebook like I'm, just, like I'm gonna show you here in this video. Um, some other lists that you could be putting together, um, you could absolutely put together a list of for sale by owners, of expired listings, you could do that and market to just these people with an, with an expired or a for sale by owner campaign. Um, investors, investor properties, those kinds of things. So anything where there's a very specific group of people that you wanna to market to that you can put together a list, this is a great feature for being able to do that. So now that you kind of understand a, a little bit of the strategy and some of the groups of people that we may wanna do this with, uh, let's go through the steps and talk about how to do this. So I am going to share my screen. And what you're gonna do is you're going to need a business manager account. Now, the reason why you need a business manager account to do what I'm going to show you is because uploading a list and running ads to a list is an advanced feature that they require a business manager account for. It doesn't cost you anything to do it, but you do have to have one. So where you're gonna to wanna to go is you're gonna to wanna to go to business.facebook.com. So business.facebook.com. I'll put that link uh, down in the description below. But that's where you want to go to set up your business manager account. Again, a business manager account is different than a business account. So just to kind of show you the difference, let me uh, pull up Facebook real quick. And uh, you'll notice uh, up here when I click on this uh, button to open up the menu, assuming that it uh, does it. There we go. So see how there's a section for pages, but then there's another section for business manager. You need to have a business manager account. If you don't have this on your menu, then you do not have a business manager account and you need to get that. So that's where you would go to business.facebook.com. Set up a business manager account. Once you've got that, then go to where I'm showing you. So up here, you're gonna click on business manager. It's gonna open up this menu and you're gonna to go to audiences. That's where we wanna to go to do this. Now, the hardest part about this process isn't actually uploading the list, it's putting the list together uh, in the first place. Because there's a little bit of formatting, there's a little bit of things that we need to do. So the way that you would do this is you would go to create audience, custom audience, and uh, they just changed some of these screens. This is brand new. Um, for what you're seeing used to look a little different, but the functionality is still the same. So we're gonna do this option where we upload a customer file, uh, and we're gonna use this option that doesn't include lifetime value of a client. Uh, if you have that, you can plug that in, but frankly, for what we're doing, it's not that big of a deal. So use a file that doesn't include lifetime value. 
Now, like I said earlier, the hardest part of this process is getting the spreadsheet ready to upload to begin with. So you'll notice right here, there's a button that says that you can download a file template. When you download the file template, it looks like this. This is the file that you'll download and it's got these different columns. So you can upload up to three email addresses, three phone numbers, but there has to be specific formatting. Uh, there is this help document in the business section on Facebook that talks about how to prepare your customer data. This is the part that you want to pay particular attention to. So there's a section on general best practices. I highly recommend reading it, but I'm going to cover the high points for you. Number one, always include the country code as part of your customer's phone numbers, even if all your data is from the same country. Keep in mind, Facebook matches a global audience. So when, if all you put in was the area code and the phone number, that helps, but Facebook doesn't necessarily know what country that's part of, right? So we wanna make sure that we include the area code, which if you're in the United States, which most of you are, especially if you're watching this video, um, just because that's the clientele that I typically work with. Um, so you would add a one, which is the country code for uh, United States. So you'll notice on that spreadsheet for these people that are in the United States, it does have a one in front of the area code. And so that's important. You'll notice with these other ones, Great Britain, that they have a different country code, 44, uh, France, right? 33. So make sure you're including the country code. The next thing that it tells you on this is always include your customers' countries in their own column in the file even if all the data is from the same country. Again, Facebook's matching a global audience. So you'll notice there's this column that has country, that has all of this information. So the hardest part is getting your list formatted. You need to make sure that any of your phone number fields have the country code in here. Otherwise, you're not going to match as many people as you could, right? Um, again, it just says these simple steps help us match as many people for, as possible from your customer list. Um, for the email, it gives you samples of what that email format should look like. For the phone number, again, it gives you samples of what that looks like. So whether you have the brackets or not or any of this, really doesn't matter. It's going to help you uh, be able to match as long as you've got the correct data in there. Um, and then it just goes through some of the other formatting. Country, again, it's just the two-letter abbreviation. Uh, dates, if you're doing that. Most of this other stuff, frankly, is... Uh, Either one, you're not gonna use it, or two, it's pretty common sense. Again, the biggest thing that you need to do to get your, the two things you need to do to get your spreadsheet ready, add the country code to your any phone number, and have a column that has country. Those are the two biggest things that you'll wanna do. Once that's done, you'll come back to this screen where we're going to select the origin of the upload. I normally pick this one from customers and partners. Then you would upload that file right here. So I've got that uh, one that I downloaded right there. That's the template. And then you're gonna give this audience a name. So for what I'm doing, uh, I'm just gonna call this demo custom audience upload. Okay. Now, once that's done, you're going to hit the next button. And here is where you're going to be matching the different fields of the uh, spreadsheet to the fields in um, inside Facebook. So this column was labeled as email. Facebook recognized that that's the email. If I, if it didn't recognize it, I would just pick it from the drop down list, right? So that's pretty straight, pretty self-explanatory. And all we're doing is matching each one to the field. So remember how Facebook can match up to three emails and three phone numbers. So Facebook has already got all of that which is perfect. The MAD ID is the mobile advertising ID. You're probably not gonna use that. I wouldn't upload that. And if you're wondering what that is, don't worry about it, you don't need it. It's just a mobile um, code that tells um, Facebook whether you're a mobile user or whether you're an Android user or an iPhone user. It's not that critical, frankly. Uh, so FN is going to match to first name. LN matches last name. Zip, zip. CT is city, ST state, country, country, date of birth, we've got that. And then you just need to tell it what format your date, your birthdays are in. Uh, year of birth, gender, age, again, you can upload these, but they're not critical. If you have them on your spreadsheet, great. If you don't, 
it's not that critical. The main things that you want on your spreadsheet are email address and phone number. Um, because when people create a profile on Facebook, they're using their name, phone number, email address. And so that's the primary ways that Facebook would match the data. So once that's done, you would just simply come down here to upload and create. Facebook takes a second to do its magic. There are now nine rows that have been uploaded and Facebook is checking that data to see if it has a match in their database and then it'll pull that person into a list. Then what happens, so um, just to uh, show you how this works, now that you've got your list uploaded, once you go to create an ad, right? So when you go to your ads manager to create an ad, and you click on create to create a new ad once this finishes loading. There we go. So you'd click on create to create a brand new ad. Uh, again, you'd pick whatever you want for what I'm doing. I don't really care, so I'm just gonna pick engagement. That works. And then in the audience section, what we did was we uploaded a customer, uh, a custom list, right? So that custom audience is gonna be right here. And here's that one that we just uploaded. So with that click right there, I am now targeting the people on that list with whatever my ad is. So I'm not gonna worry about walking you through the rest of it. I just wanted to show you where you do that. That's right here in custom audiences. And you just simply click on that field and any of the lists that you've uploaded will show up there. So that is how you create a list, you upload it and then target it with an ad. It's super powerful because rather than targeting everybody, you're targeting a very specific group of people with a very specific purpose. And if you're uploading a list, you get to control who you're marketing to rather than using Facebook's uh, internal targeting system. So hopefully that video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment down in the section below. I'll be happy to answer that. Uh, I'm also going to put a couple links down there. I'm going to put a link to our free uh, Facebook Buyer Leads Boot Camp. So um, in that in that uh, link that I'm going to put in the description, it's going to give you some of our top ad samples that will help you generate buyer leads, buyer leads, seller leads, open houses. You'll see our uh, ad templates for that. Uh, also going to put a link to our online course to where you can learn all of uh, our Facebook secrets, the uh, Facebook master's course, it's called the Revolutionary Agent, that'll show you how to market your entire business uh, using Facebook. So if you wanna check that out, feel free. If you have any questions, reach out to me, let me know. Uh, otherwise, hope you have a great week, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.